Hello everyone, this is Amanda with the LiveCoin Q&A. I know I've been posting videos on Friday, but this one was too good not to go ahead and share it. And this is an error on the new 2023 quarters that just came out. This is a Facebook group submission. I know some of you are not in the Facebook group because you don't use Facebook. So I wanted to make sure this got shared on the YouTube channel. This submission is from Chrissy S. And on her post she said, Hi y'all, I think I found my first die clash. It's a 2023p Edith Kanakaole right under his earlobe on the obverse. Alright, so first off we're going to look at the close-up photos which normally we look at the full obverse and reverse photos first, but I felt like this would be better because those other photos are going to be used for a comparison. So right here we are looking at Washington's ear, and what we are focusing on is right here. And on this next slide, this is a little closer photo of what we were looking at on that last one. So keep this in mind, all of this clashing right here, because we're about to compare what we're actually seeing right here with the die clash overlay. All right, so on the left is a full picture of the viewer's coin. And on the right is a die clash overlay. So the area we were looking at on those close-up photos is right here on the viewer's coin, right under Washington's ear. And this actually lines up perfectly to be part of Edith's name, specifically part of the T and the I. And there might be some slight clashing where you can see part of the D as well. It kind of looked like that when I zoomed in on these photos, but I couldn't tell 100% sure. But when I'm looking at this, the clashing in this area is really all I'm seeing on the obverse. And now we're going to take a look at the reverse of the coin. So the reverse design does have a lot going on, but over here on the viewer's coin, right here, I think that is actually part of the clash too. As you can see, it lines up perfectly with the back of Washington's hair on the obverse, and it is pretty much the exact same shape. But other than that, I'm not noticing any obvious clashing on the reverse. But there's so much going on on the reverse with that design that it's really hard to tell. But before I end the video, I did look at eBay just out of curiosity to see if there were any of these listed. And two of them sold on March 31st. One of them sold for $40, and one of them sold for $32.50. So this is a really nice find, and she did add later that she actually found this in a mint sealed bag. So that's why she found it so early. So congrats to Chrissy on this really awesome find, and... Any of you that also ordered mint sealed bags, if you were planning on opening those, make sure you look for this die clash because it's a really nice one. So that's all I've got for this video. Thank you all for watching.